Hello, so this is the uh, 2.3 notes on uh, Latin American revolution. So in this set of notes, we're going to look at the last set of revolutions and how they were influenced not only by the Enlightenment, but by other uh, revolutions that occurred before us, such as the American Revolution and the French Revolution. So the first revolution we're going to look at is the Haitian Revolution. Haiti um, was a French colony. A colony is a piece of land that is owned by another country. So for example, the American colonies were first owned by Great Britain, right? They were technically a part of that country and they were owned and controlled by that country, mostly for economic reasons. Haiti was owned by France. And most of the people living in Haiti were slaves, black slaves taken from Africa. Um, they were controlled and ruled by a minority of white French owners who ran the island and controlled the slaves. Um, during the French Revolution, um, people in Haiti began to hear about the French Revolution and some of the ideas from the Enlightenment and the Revolution, such as that all men are created equal, everyone has equal rights, etc. Um, the, the slaves living in Haiti began to hear about this and revolted to gain their freedom and independence from the island. And in doing so, they burnt and destroyed most of the island in the process. So they could destroy the things, the tools that held them as slaves so they could not be enslaved again. They were led by a name named Toussaint Louverture, uh, pardon my French, uh, who was a former slave. Um, by 1798, most of Haiti was controlled by the rebels, by the freed slaves. Um, as the French Revolution was winding down, however, Napoleon wanted to kind of gain back control of the island. Even though some of, some of the ideas of the French Revolution kind of stayed intact, Napoleon wanted to kind of retake the island and reinstitute slavery. But eventually, within five years, by 1803, he gave up. Um, and Haiti was more or less... Uh, declared its its freedom and independence from from spain or from Fr france my, pardon me um that being said toussaint was taken captive by napoleon and he died in europe um that being said haiti was still free was still independent and haiti did win its uh independence and it was the first nation in the americas after the united states to win its independence and it's the first uh, nation made up of primarily free black people to gain its independence as well Okay, so when we say the word minority, such as in the white French minority in Haiti, what are we talking about here? We are talking about a small portion of the population. Why is the Haitian Revolution important? Why, why is this a primarily an important thing to study? It's all of the above. All of the above happened in this uh, scenario. So that's the Haitian Revolution. We're going to do a lot of work in it um, with some activities in this unit this week. Um, let's look at the Spanish-American Revolutions. Um, this is somewhat similar to um, the class system we saw in, the, in France prior to the French Revolution, except we have it kind of set up in um, Latin America. So when we talk about this part of Latin America, we're talking about the area from Mexico all the way down to South America. This area was controlled, these colonies were controlled by Spain in Europe. Um, and we have a social pyramid set up, kind of like the three estates. We have starting at the top of the pyramid, we have the peninsulares. They are the Spanish upper class. They were born in Europe, born in Spain. They were the in charge of the economy, the government, and the religious power. And it was Catholic, the, the Catholic religion in the New World. Below them, we have the Creoles. They were also Europeans. They were also from Spain, but they were second class. They had some economic power, but they were born in America of European descent. They, they, were, they were kind of looked down upon by the peninsulares because they didn't have as much power or wealth as them. Below the Creoles, we have the Mestizos. The Mestizos were people that were mixed with European and Native American ethnicity. Um, below those, we have the Mulattoes. Those were the people mixed with European and African descent. They had no rights or status. And then finally, below, below the Mulattoes were the Africans, slaves brought from Africa. They were enslaved on plantations and obviously wanted freedom. 
the second highest group, the Creoles, they wanted power and freedom. They were they had enough education to read about the Enlightenment. They saw the American Revolution. They saw the French Revolution and even the Haitian Revolution. They realized that, hey, we can use these ideas to kind of rally everyone together and kind of gain our freedom. So while Napoleon was dealing with wars in, in France, Spain saw an opportunity to gain freedom and to kind of, you know, while Napoleon was distracting Spain, uh, they saw this as a chance to kind of gain freedom and try to break free from their chains of, of uh, colonial control. So their leader was a man named Simon Bolivar. He was Creole and he was influenced by the Enlightenment, you know, and he wanted to create an uprising in Venezuela. Um, he failed. However, that did not stop him. He eventually took his army and crossed into Colombia, surprising Spain, and he freed some surrounding countries such as Ecuador, Bolivia, Chile, and Peru. And eventually he kind of freed these, these areas from Spanish control and he became a president of the area he freed, the Federation of the Andes, the mountain range in South America. Um, however, over time, his empire fell apart due to infighting and civil war, and each of these separate uh, areas became several countries that be focused on fighting each other. So eventually these areas did become free and independent from Spain, but they didn't have as successful as a story as some of the other colonies that broke free, such as the United States of America. Um, so let's look at this. How did Napoleon help Spain, Spanish colonies gain independence? So what did Napoleon do again? Let's go back. Napoleon invaded Spain and Spanish America saw this as an opportunity to gain freedom. So since Napoleon invaded Spain, what, what happened here? What's the best answer? Yeah. He attacks Spain and Europe, distracting Spain so that the Spanish colonies in the New World can kind of break free and get, have their own little mini revolutions and gain their freedom. Okay, so the question you're going to answer this week on your own is pick two of the following revolutions, one from each group. You have the American and French revolutions and the Haitian revolution and Spanish-American revolution. What are two similarities and two differences between each revolutions, okay? Think about some, some things. Who were in these revolutions? In the American Revolution, we have the Americans, mostly white Americans, trying to fight for freedom. In the French Revolution, we have mostly white French trying to fight for freedom. What, who were the revolutionaries in these groups? Were they, what, what race were they? What, what was their ethnic background? Um, okay, there's another similarity. What was the class background? Who were the people, what social class would the founding fathers be in? What about the third estate? They were the revolutionaries, right? What social class were they in? What were the social makeup of these groups of people in these revolutions, right? That could be a similarity or a difference between A and B. Um, what documents were made by each revolution? Did, did, do we talk about any documents today? Um, where were these revolutions located? What ideas inspired these revolutions? Um, you know, those are, I gave you some ideas to think about. So try and get two similarities between an A and B and two differences. If, if you wanted to make this as easy as possible, I'd probably compare the French Revolution and the Haitian Revolution. That's probably the easiest thing I could think of. Um, so kind of think of some similarities and differences in those between those two revolutions. All right. Well, uh, good luck answering this question and let me know if you have any questions.